UBS logging its first quarterly loss in nearly six years, the ongoing absorption of former rival Credit Suisse putting a drag on its performance. After booking $2.1 billion in costs related to the, the Credit Suisse takeover, UBS incurred a loss of $785 million. That exceeds by a wide margin the street estimate for a loss of around $400 million. Excluding takeover-related costs, UBS's underlying profit hit $844 million. But it's not all bad news. UBS reported a combined $22 billion of a net new money in wealth management, with Credit Suisse adding $3 billion to that figure. At a Hong Kong conference, UBS chairman repeated the, the bank's reluctance to take over Credit Suisse. It was very clear that we at UBS did not want to do the deal initially. We had our own strategy, which we felt if we executed on would have been massively price book accretive. However, we were watching what was unfolding for a year, and by October 22, it was clear that Credit Suisse, in our opinion, was a total falling knife at that point. Still, he added the takeover did manage to stop a contagion of bank failures. UBS oversees more than $5 trillion in assets since absorbing Credit Suisse. It has been working to recover from the exodus of client funds from Credit Suisse with above market rates on deposits. It has also forged ahead with the integration by cutting headcount. UBS says it employed nearly 116,000 people at the end of September. That is down about 2.6% from June when the merger was completed. Investors reacting positively to the pace of integration. UBS shares jumping 4% in early Zurich trade, 3.52 at this point.